Our top story at this hour, some very positive news with the Caldor fire. Evacuation orders for South Lake Tahoe have been downgraded to evacuation warnings. This includes areas from the Nevada state line west along Highway 50 to the Tahoe Airport. And this is good news for the 22,000 residents who had to flee the Lake Tahoe area. Take a look at this map. It shows where the fire is burning right now with the dark red spots and dots there showing the hot spots with more than one third of the 334 square mile Keldor fire surrounded. Authorities are also allowing more people back in their homes on the western and northern sides of the fires. Meanwhile, the fire is now up to more than 215,000 acres burned. Containment is up to 43%. It started three weeks ago in El Dorado County and has since burned into Amador County as well. More than 920 structures are destroyed. Dozens more are damaged. One of the areas fire crews are concentrating on today is the Kirkwood area, where the rough terrain is proving to be challenging. Near the front lines of the Caldor fire, and you can see that air support is still playing a big role in the fight against this fire, not to extinguish the fire, rather to get fire crews valuable time to try to entrench themselves in those fire lines that they've spent the last two days building a productive two days. Fire crews say they've taken advantage of relatively low wind and low overnight temperatures, buying them valuable time to try and stop this fire from spreading a fire that is approaching its third week of burning, claiming more than 200,000 acres. Right now we're nearing the subalpine, um, so it creates it creates issues and it also mitigates issues. It's a little bit harder for them to get up in here, less access, but it's also a little bit harder for it to burn. And while evacuation orders uh, may be removed or even downgraded in some areas surrounding South Lake Tahoe, the fight against this fire is still not over. Fire crews here on the ground say this is the hottest and driest day they've seen in several days. Back to you. All right, Sebastian, thank you. Meantime, crews are now battling a new fire burning rapidly right now in Placer County. It's called the Bridge Fire, and it sparked next to the Forest Hill Bridge earlier this afternoon. Take a look. This is new time-lapse video just into the newsroom a short time ago showing the very explosive growth of this fire. While there are no evacuation warnings for Forest Hill at the moment, fire officials are asking everyone to be prepared. Meanwhile, people around Upper and Lower Lake Clementine are being told to get out of the area. Our van, too, just arrived on scene to give us a live report. And Van, what can you tell us? What do you see right now? Well, Kurt, we are dealing with some very dry fuels. You can see behind me the column of black smoke in the distance here. The good news, though, is that uh, there are no homes or structures threatened. We are at the south end of the Forest Hill Bridge right now, and um, the Auburn Police Department says that uh, it is traveling east of the Forest Hill Bridge. So uh, the Forest, uh, Old Forest Hill Road rather is closed between Old Forest Hill and uh, and Lincoln, and as you can see, there are about three tankers, uh, aircraft uh, dropping uh, rotter and retardant on this fire. Again, this fire um, broke out at just uh, one one o'clock today under the Forest Hill Bridge and made a rapid progression uh, towards the southeast here. Um, excuse me, sorry, uh, the audio here is uh, I'm having some audio issue here. But again, no, no homes or structures threatened at this point, but this fire is growing rapidly. Uh, the latest acreage that we have at this point is from the Forest Hill uh, protection, uh, Fire Protection District. And at that update, we got about 60 to 80 acres, but I am sure that number will be growing as soon as we get another update from Cal Fire on the scene right now. Kurt? All right, our van two live there. Again, this is near Forest Hill Bridge in the Auburn area. You can see that fire retardant air tankers dropping it right now along with water to try to get this fire under control. Again, this is in the Auburn area called the Lawrence or check that called the Forest Hill Fire. Again, our van two live there. Thank you, Van. We'll uh, continue to give you updates on that fire. Meantime, another new fire breaking out. This is the Lawrence fire. This is burning just south of the Caldor fire in Amador County near Fiddletown. This is northeast of Fiddletown and Cal Fire says so far it's burned about 40 acres and was burning very fast and threatening a few structures in the area. But crews fortunately are making good progress in putting out the flames and evacuation warnings in the area 
are now lifted. And some good progress made yesterday on the Dixie fire. The 890,000 acre fire is 56% contained. It's burning in Butte, Tehama, Plumas, Shasta and Lassen counties. Multiple evacuation orders and warnings have been lifted there. And if you'd like to help the many families impacted by all these wildfires, ABC 10 has teamed up with the American Red Cross. If you are able to donate, you can find the link on our website. Go to abc10.com slash links. Well, here in the Valley, we're talking about heat, and that is not good news for firefighters. Huh, Monica? Right, now we got the smoke as well coming off from that new fire, the Bridge Fire. Here it is on satellites, and you can see that smoke plume starting to build. So a lot of people in Auburn probably seeing that off in the distance as you look off to the east. Also, additional smoke coming off the Dixie and Caldor fires. All of this happening, as Kurt was mentioning, a very hot day, and we have seen a number of hot spots growing right around the Kirkwood area towards the southern part of the perimeter there on the Caldor fire. Same situation here for the Dixie fire. A little bit of growth up to the north and also near the Plumas National Forest where we've been continuing to watch the area around Portola, but a significant smoke plume forming for today. Here's how the air quality has progressed throughout the day. It was a hazy start to the morning, especially around Folsom Lake up towards Highway 50 and even I-80 now headed towards the afternoon. We're once again seeing areas of smoke building, a bit of ozone in there as well with the temperatures warming to near 100 for this Sunday. We're at 104 for Fairfield, 101 for Elk Grove, near 100 for the rest of the valley close to that mid 90s to near 100 for parts of the foothills 80s up top for the sierra now for tonight we'll see generally mostly clear skies a little haziness light southwest wind will help to disperse a bit of that smoke happening in the valley and then we quickly turn our attention to this heat advisory going into effect that's right we haven't even seen the peak heat yet